Hey guys, welcome to Con Evolution. My name's Khan, and right now I'm excited to check out another episode of Tower of God, Crunchyroll's new original series based on that very popular webtoon. Episode 2 is specifically titled 3400s. Three 3400s, Three what could that mean? Of course I know what it means, but I'm interested in knowing what do you guys think it is, for those of you who have never read the webtoon before. If you guys haven't checked out my reaction to Tower of God Season 1, Episode 1, I'll leave the link in the description below, as well as a piece you guys can go and check that out before joining back with me for Episode 2, but in that uh, episode, post a reaction in my discussion of it I explained like what I thought my pa what I thought about like the pacing of the series in comparison to the webtoon and I felt it was a little bit fast but it didn't hinder my enjoyment of episode one at all I felt like within the span of you know the, the, the full version of the story it, 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 in that episode the amount we got to see made complete sense so I'm super excited to get into episode two I am curious what your guys's thoughts are for those of you who have read the webtoon versus those of you who have never touched the webtoon whatsoever did you what did you guys think about the first episode Episode, what did you think about the main character versus how uh, the other characters were introduced? Are you excited for this anime? Leave all your thoughts down below. As always, if you guys are enjoying watching these videos with me, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video with any other fans of Tower of God, the webtoon, or the anime out there, or just Crunchyroll out there. And uh, also come over to the Discord. We reached our goal of 100 people, and now we're aiming for 200. So help uh, us get to that new goal of 200 by joining our wonderful community building over there. As well as uh, I've created a separate channel for Tower of God specific, so you guys can chat with me directly over there about that as well as with anybody else who reads tower of god over there and also come over to twitch.tv slash convolution where i'll be streaming final fantasy 7 remake when that comes out in just a two days oh anyways uh super excited for episode two i'm not gonna say no more i'm gonna discuss it after the reaction is over so let's go ahead and dive in to three four hundreds in three two one Son I, I explained this in my previous episode that like the opening it doesn't show you much compared to other anime openings where they show you a whole lot of different characters, a lot of different fight scenes from the upcoming episodes and whatnot. So it's leaving a lot to be interpreted just by your mind about what's going on. And it's just pure bomb, man. Oh, I love how they mixed it together, these scenes. Oh shit, Rock! <laughs> Turtle, yes! <laughs> Blue Turtle, yes. ありがとう。こんな状況でも多眼族は温厚だからね。俺の名はくん。よ、夜です。おまいガード。夜黒の3月男で。さっさと新入りの元に案内しなさいよ。フーズ。チビ。おまいガード。それを塔に入ったばか
If he lets you. <laughs><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> はい。やっぱりましょう。よ。へえ、肝が座ってるじゃないか。ここで夜にこだわるより、塔を登る方が。ふざけるな、青い亀。あと10秒。時間がねえのに。ちょっと、やめろ。ほら、ちゃんと。
ったく神は残酷ですね。困る時だったのあなたが求めるものがあります。<笑> Do it to me, let's go! <笑>うん。どうした青い髪うっせえな。うん。Little detail. またお会いできるのを楽しみにしそれと。クンさんとはあまり親しくならない方がいい。Ooh. Come on, Chibisu, you got this, bro! Let's go! <laughs> He's about to go freaking Super Saiyan up in this bitch right now! Yeah, dude, my boy! Yatta! Yatta! <laughs> They were enemies just a moment ago. <laughs> Ooh, test three, the red door. So, fantastic episode two, and the reason it was titled three four hundreds was because you know you got to get into teams of three, and there were four hundred contestants all together, and they basically it was a free for all. They had to eliminate a.、Uh, Each other until the contestants dimmed down to like 200, and afterwards it was all about making teams. So basically, it's kind of strange. It's a strange concept when you think about it because the、um, basically the instructor for the test number two wants to see if you can not only fight people right away but also, you know,、um, relinquish your hate and sort of become friends with them moment on. Because as Leiro Ro mentions, it's it's not so much of the, the, the climbing the Power、isn't so much about strength. Yes, it is about strength, but it's factors incredibly on the luck factor. So it's a very strange concept, you know what I'm saying? I mean, well, it's not that strange, but it's not just survival of the fittest or survival of the strongest, but it's also this, you know, survival of the luckiest as well. And、uh, it just so happens that Bomb happens to be very lucky, as you saw that, like, when Leiro Ro summoned that, you know. Wall of Shinsu water, which by the way, Shinsu is that thing in this world, which is like you know, like in Dragon Ball Z, it's key, like in a you know, what do you call、uh, in Bleach, it's,、uh, it's Reishi or spiritual energy, chakra, and freaking Naruto, you know what I'm saying? Alchemical energy and full metal alchemist, you know, so it's, it's basically the medium of energy or aura in、uh, you know, what do you call、um, uh, Ruby? So it's that magical energy which、uh, all the、um, different attacks and moves and pure, pretty much. You know,、uh, rejuvenating force, you know, literally the force in terms of this world, the world of the Tower of God. So they not only use it to live, but also to, you know, run machinery and also to not just run machinery, but it also helps to sustain、uh, life on, in, within Tower of God and also to build people's strengths and whatnot. So. The more Shinsu you have in this world, the more powerful you are in general. And technically, the more Shinsu you're able to tolerate, the higher level you can go. Basically, that's like getting stronger. Because, as Lady Roro mentioned to that one dude that with the sniper rifle, is that,、um, you know, the, the higher you go up on the tower, the Shinsu gets much more condensed. So it's much more difficult to breathe. And the only way you can get up the tower is by building a tolerance to it. One thing that was very interesting, and you guys can correct me down in the comments.、Um, I obviously have not read、uh, season one of the webtoon in a very long time. The last time I, I remember reading it back in like 2016. I maybe, no, 2014. I remember I read it 2014, not 2016.、Uh, so it was a while back. But I remember in that first chapter, I felt like Lei Ro Ro、uh, described Shinsu as more like. Air, like you breathe it, it's sort of like a sort of a gaseous sort of element, it's just pure gaseous energy. However, this episode designed it as more to be like water, so I might be mistaken. Was it drawn? What was it? Water in the in the in the webtoon as well, or was it air? Maybe I'm getting my elements confused a little bit, but uh, that was very interesting because it is kind of like water as well, you know, it's this sort of universal medium through which Tower of God sort of the, the tower itself operates. And another、uh, vocabulary term we got for this anime,、um, for this series, is the、uh, title of rankers and irregulars. So the ranker is somebody who is basically, you know. Uh, gone to the top of the tower, has reached the top of the tower, overcome a lot of the obstacles, so they're incredibly powerful. And so many of them、uh, have been given the role of being administrators to you know, people who are still climbing the tower. So the, the, those are what rankers are. And if you recall from episode one, Evan, who was accompanying、uh, Yuri Jihad, was also a ranker as well. So he obviously went to the top of the tower. So there, it's not like the, the, the top of the tower is some like, you know, Uh, unfathomable uh, level that you can't reach, 
you know, like in freaking Sword Art Online. But it's uh, it's something that has been, you know, the tower is something that has been climbed and has been conquered. And at the top of the tower, we see that King Jihad is there. You'll meet King Jihad when you reach the top of the tower. So that's what it. That's what the idea is anyway and so the, the rankers are the administrators and we see that bomb uh you know doesn't get pushed back by the shinsu so there's something unique about bomb and labor Ro recognizes this right away and sort of has this little uh betting game with him and uh, he answers uh bombs one question which is that what are we regular so uh, you know because bomb is an irregular if you haven't figured that out is that um what do you call labor Ro mentions that they're individuals who come from outside the tower because everybody who's here in the in this sort of competition at the current moment is somebody who's grown up at the tower and are striving to get to higher levels however bomb is an irregular because like the people who are in the tower and competing are regulars versus people who are outside who come in very randomly and very rarely are irregulars and Lero Ro mentions that they're basically you know uh what do you call anomalies to the tower once they enter it's like the tower can't really process their existence all that much even though the tower desires for their entrance and whenever an irregular enters it's sort of this huge phenomenon it's just incredible it marks this incredible uh change or divergence you know within the uh, events within the tower so that'll all come into play a little bit later but i don't want to get into too much but we see rock wraith sayer and kuhn and bomb finally come together rock is drawn as such a comedic entity right off the bat he, he is he is one of the best characters of course we see hats and anak and the uh, uh what do you call you um chibisu chibisu is one of my favorite characters he's also another a very comedic like character character as well but you know don't don't just think he's uh, all about comedy he's got some pretty uh cool stuff in him as well you know i love like that i love that scene where him and the other girl are just like trying to but to bash their heads and trying to get in as much as possible so it's not you know luck is a huge factor but tenacity and you know uh willingness and the drive to uh, climb the tower is also a factor as well strength drive uh your emotions as well as your you know your luck factor all of that plays in going forward but um yeah so like Lero Ro mentioned you know it's not you know he doesn't deny everyone's strength but you need more than just strength in order to persevere in this tower so I'm super excited for episode three man I, I love I, I thought the pacing for this episode was far better I thought the pacing for this episode was far better and they see like each episode is gonna explain to you more and more and this tower is slowly gonna it's gonna shed more and more light on what this series is actually about going forward you know what I'm saying so leave your comments down below what did you guys think did you guys enjoy this episode how did you what did you guys think about this episode in comparison to episode one leave that down below as well who's your favorite character so far i'm i'm curious to know you know like i said i love rock i love chibisu chibisu all the way bro man i freaking love that but um yeah leave your favorite character so far i know it's only episode two so it's hard to have a favorite but what do you guys think of all the characters uh so far in these two episodes and what do you guys think about the concept of the tower is it still is the anime still a little bit difficult for you guys to follow or are you guys following along just fine leave all that information down below and for those of you guys who have read the webtoon and are following the anime is there something i failed to notice or forgot to mention or uh didn't like you know uh analyze properly leave that down in the comments below as well can't wait to get back to you guys and i'll see you guys later in the next video which is episode three of tower of god until then have a wonderful day or a wonderful night wherever you guys are hope you guys are staying safe i'll see you guys later bye thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it please subscribe hit that like button and feel free to share the video and i'll see you guys next time